So we're always on a hunt for soft quality of light, but sometimes, especially in the industry that we chose to work in, a lot of things come at quite a cost, whether it's a soft box or a large diffusion frame or just diffusion materials. And a lot of the time we're working on a budget and looking for a cheaper alternative. And that is the purpose of this video, which is focusing on using different budget materials under all of which like $20, to diffuse our light and then see how that actually compares to actual professional diffusion gear. So with that being said, my name is Brady. Welcome and or welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, well, it's nice to see you again. If you've not been here before, well, it's great to see you. I've been a little bit distant lately. I moved, I'm, I'm, I'm in Utah now. Um, that's a song for another day. We don't have a lot of time to touch on that at all today. So a little disclaimer for most of these, obviously you're gonna see behind the scenes of each setup but the light that I'm gonna be using as the key light through and through is an Aperture 300D with a reflector dish. So that light is going to stay the same throughout the entire uh, time of all the different diffusions and the material in which we are diffusing or the way in which we are diffusing is going to be the one that is changing. And then also through all of these tests, I'm also gonna put in a comparison of, I'm, I think I'm gonna run it through half grid diffusion, just a half grid diffusion frame, just like how I typically would. And we're gonna see you know what they look like next to each other whether it's a professional grade rag or just something that's five dollars like a bed sheet so with that being said we're gonna dive into the first one here and that's actually one that you've seen on my channel already and that's what's lighting me right now i actually use it all the time and that's unbleached muslin and i got that from a fabric store now unbleached muslin it's a little bit more warm of a material you can either use this material to bounce light off of it back onto myself which is what i'm doing here or you can also cut through it. So a variety of the materials that we're using in this video, we're either going to cut light through or bounce light off, but don't worry, I'm gonna talk about that in each segment of the video. So on bleach muslin, you can probably get this for, I would say, no more than $10, depending on the quantity and the size of which that you get. I think I got this for $10 and it's like 12 feet wide of unbleached muslin. Very nice material, you see it used all through the industry, but you can get it very cheap and easily at places like crafts and fabric stores, and then be able to just clamp it up to a stand, tape it to a wall, hang it however which way you find fitting for your project, and there you go, you've got some great diffusion. So what we're looking at here is my Aperture 300D, blasting into this little like semi-circle of this muslin, and it's really bouncing into that, and then coming in and wrapping across my face, how you can see it here. And like I said, this always just looks very, very nice, especially when you're bouncing it. So this might be my go-to favorite. Uh, again, I'm using it as my key light here. And so far, I'm loving it. So that's the first option is unbleached muslin. So now what if we switch it up? Say, next thing along the lines, which we've heard and talked about so many times, is literally a shower curtain. This shower curtain looks like a very, honestly, I'm, I have not used this yet. I just bought it the other day, and I'm actually really excited to see how this curtain diffuses the light. I think I'm, it's thicker. I might try to cut through it because it's thicker. It might, it, it might add a nice soft uh, quality of light. So we're gonna throw this up here and see how it looks for the first time together. But a shower curtain, I got this for $6 at Target. So again, we're staying under $10 for this. And I'd say the best way that we're gonna set this up is probably hang it from two stands, maybe clip it to each side of two different stands. Or if you've got a grip arm, you can just hang it from that as well. But let's go get this put up and see what it does with the 300D on myself. So this is the shower curtain and it's probably about a five feet apart right now, five feet by five feet. So it's a very large source of diffusion and it looks, I mean, as far as the monitor goes, the, the shower curtain looks really soft. So this is an option to work with is a shower curtain from Target. Some of them are thinner, like more translucent. Some of them are more clean white. This is like a matte white finish. It's not one of the clear uh, transparent shower liners. So that's something that you need to take into consideration when getting one. I'm using my phone to monitor and honestly, I'm impressed. It looks really, really nice. So again, we've got the 300D as our light, but instead of bouncing off of the muslin like we were just doing previously, now we're transmitting through this diffusion material as if we would be cutting it through a softbox. So this is what the shower curtain looks like. And now the other one, which I used for the longest time, obviously I haven't even opened this, but if you guys have been around on this channel since the very early days, you've seen that I have literally used a white bed sheet time and time and time again. And I'm gonna put a video right up here above or in the description as well um, of a DIY scrim that I did way back when because I didn't, obviously yes, I've saved up and I've invested in my gear and the time since, but in the beginning, beginning, I did not have the money to invest in expensive stuff. I just had to make a little 
bedsheet scrim. So that's what I did. Here is what we are looking at next, which is a white bedsheet. Again, I got this at Target for $10. I think $10 for the whole sheet set because they didn't have any of the others in stock. But it's very similar in material to this shower curtain. I think it might be a little bit, it's more like cottony and I think it's a little bit more uh, dense, I guess if that's a bad word for it. I feel like it's gonna diffuse the light a little bit more and then maybe take a little bit more light but soften it just a little bit more because the shower curtain, it's still somewhat sheer, somewhat translucent. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Again, we're gonna do the same thing across the light stands light coming through it, and let's see what that looks like. You know, I, I, I've got a Rembrandt, which is very nice and pleasing. I'm, I'm surprised we got that. So now what we're looking at now is the white bed sheet. Again, $10 from Target again. And the light is the 300D. I still have punching through it, just like how I did with the shower curtain as well. So nothing has changed with the setup. Nothing has changed with the output. The only thing that has changed is the material in which we are diffusing with, which is the bed sheet now. And honestly, it looks, I mean, I used, I used white bed sheets all the time, literally all the time. It's, it's nice, it's, some are thicker than others, so you know, you've gotta kinda of gauge it and say like, oh, well this is too thick, it's gonna cut down too much of my light, or this is not enough, but bed sheets always look fantastic when diffusing light. So another source of diffusion that I really love to use for both added in lighting and actually natural lighting as well, is what we're looking at here, and these are window shears, and I th these have just been hanging around a house for the longest time, but I'd imagine they're about $10 or so again at a store. And you're seeing the similarities. This is gonna be a lot more sheer, so I'm curious what this is gonna do with the quality of light. We might wanna like fold them. I might try to fold it and double it up. But window shears, all the time, I'll add them up to windows in houses when I'm doing interior scenes and I'll just gaff tape them up to the rods or clip them up to the rods and then any natural light as well coming through the window is going to be softened a little bit because you've got this large white source of diffusion so it doesn't have to be just for your added lighting say you're just working in a scene and you're like wow this looks terrible all I've got is natural light what am I going to do try getting some of these throwing them over the window and then putting your talent close to the window like so and then you've got a nice soft source of diffusion that actually can be seen in frame because it just looks like a window shear. So this is a little bit more decorative, but also works great as diffusion. So let's throw these up. Maybe I'm probably gonna fold and double them up just to get a little bit more density because they are very sheer. I'm sure you can see straight through that. And then we'll see what that looks like. So I added up just one panel of the shears, open, not folded or anything. And I just wanted to show this, it's, it's, it's very hard. I mean, you compare it to the open source without any diffusion, and yes, it's a little bit softer, but it's still very hard, so. We're gonna add on another panel and then see what else we can get. So now what we're looking at is two of these panels of shears, just two of them double stacked on top of each other. And I did have to bring down the output of that 300D significantly because they are a lot thinner just as I'd expected. Now we're getting a nice soft pleasing light. I mean, it's, it's not the best, but you're still getting like this wrap across me. You're getting a, a nice little soft Rembrandt there. Obviously you're, you're seeing the shadow quality of me and everything behind the wall but it's it's definitely acceptable. So this is what we're looking at with just these window shears and say you've got nothing laying around. I, I would probably favor a bed sheet a little bit more, but say two circumstances. One, you don't have a bed sheet, you don't have anything white, say you've got shears over windows in your house anyway, and you're like, well, that's all I've got, let's make it work. Fantastic, that's a lot better than an open source. But additionally, say you don't have that bright of a light and you're already overpowering some sort of daylight. Well, a bed sheet's gonna take down a lot more exposure than would these shears. So if you're saying, well, I can't get any more exposure, maybe I just lighten up the diffusion a little bit with something like this, and that's what you've got in your house. Fantastic, you're still gonna soften it a little bit more than you would your open source. And these shears still look pretty excellent, I'm not gonna lie. I'm curious to see how they're gonna look, you know, scaled up on the monitor, but they're looking pretty great. So this is what we're looking at with the shears here. Hey, cuts shirt. Yeah, it is cuts. It's got the it's got the white little X and everything. Yeah. Is that cuts too? Yeah, they just they just came out with it a couple months ago actually. It's their vintage wash. Oh yeah. Oh, cool. You can get it off of the cuts website. You didn't know that. And you got a discount code for that? Yeah. Falling on a budget, right, man? Yeah. I use code Brady for set fifteen percent off at checkout. And I'll even put the link down below in the description for you. Oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Hey, where'd you get that at? 
Now I'm sure you've seen some of these five in one discs before. They're fantastic for many different uses. And I think these, you can probably get them anywhere from 20 to $40, um, anywhere online. But that's because they've got a lot of different uses. Now what I wanna focus on is this insert that you're gonna see here. This here may look familiar after all this diffusion talk that we've been talking about. Here you go. You've got your source of diffusion as well right here. So this is what I wanna talk about next. I've got a feeling it's not gonna be as soft because it is a little bit smaller of a source. It might be softer than the shears, but definitely not the bed sheets or the shower curtain. That's at least my theory. Um, let's throw this up here. What I'm gonna use is just a duckbill clamp, throw it up on one stand, stick it as close as I can to myself and see what it does for the diffusion, see if it's good quality light. So now what we're looking at here is the reflector dish just on a duckbill right here in front of me and the 300D again is punching through that. I didn't change the exposure this time from when I did the shears because it's a very similar uh, level of, I guess, density. It may be a little bit softer, but something where this is really gonna strive in something like this is say you're working run and gun on the go, say you take a train or public transportation, or you've really only got yourself, your backpack and one light. This can slide in anywhere and it's pretty much ready, good to go with any sort of, it doesn't need any heavy stands. It's a very lightweight little disc, so it's not gonna leave a large footprint. So this is really gonna strive when you're doing stuff like that. So this is a great source of diffusion as well. One that I've used time and time and time again, even way back to my beginning of my photography days. So we've done our share of transmitting or cutting through any sort of material, but that's not the only option. Now, something that I've got here. All right, so what we're looking at here is a very large like, foam core, bead board, little foam insulation. And really what this is, of course, of course it's a large, this is four feet, I cut it very large, but it's literally foam insulation that I've gotten from Lowe's. And I think this whole piece was maybe $8 and it was an eight foot by four foot wide piece. Or it was very large, I think it was 10 by five. I had to cut it down to shape it like this and then I just put gaff tape over the edges so foam didn't get everywhere whenever I was shooting. But what I wanna do with this is hang it up just like I've got it with the five in one disc, but instead of cutting like through it, I'm gonna bounce light off of it and then see the quality of the source on me because you can still bounce off of anything white in the room and that's always something that you wanna keep in mind. So let's bounce some light off of this, the 300D, and see the quality of light that we get across my face. So now what we are looking at is the 300D bouncing off this white four foot by four foot foam board, and then onto me. And I'd like to say it's still pretty soft, but when bouncing your light, you're definitely not gonna have as much directional control. I can tell that it's just bouncing off of this and just kind of filling ambience throughout the room. But all in all, you're still diffusing your light and it's still not a bad thing to do. And especially if you use this, say in combination with some other source of diffusion, kind of as a book light, bouncing into this and then through your diffusion, that's where you're really gonna get soft quality of light. And that's exactly why I bought this foam board because I love doing book lights to get soft quality. So say you combine this and a $5 bed sheet or a shower curtain, now you've got double diffused book light with $10 worth of diffusion. And it's a very good idea and a very great budget source as well. So this is something to consider. But the next thing that I do and I use all the time, depending on where I'm at, is actually utilize the walls and the room that I'm in. Now, catch to that. It's gotta be white walls or white ceilings or at least gray, kind of like it is here. And I will take my light fixture and I'll turn it and blast it like up into a corner because then that corner is gonna be a large, pretty much rounded off soft box that you're bouncing light into and then into your entire room. So again, I'm about to do that. I'm guessing we're not gonna have as much control. It's gonna be a very ambient kind of look to this light, but it's gonna be a lot more pleasant than shooting a hard light straight into your subject. So here is just the 300D punched into the corner of my room here. And immediately it's, it's very different. It's ambient, it's spread out through the entire room. And I actually had to stop down my camera. I lost about like a whole stop of light. So I had to brighten up my camera because it wasn't, it, it's dispersing throughout the entire room. So it's not really directed onto me. So again, this may not be the best case scenario, but say you don't have anything at all to work with, this is a great last resort or quick, easy run and gun option to just blast the light into a wall, into a ceiling, into wherever in the room to make this really nice ambience of light throughout the, throughout the entire scene. 
So coming to an end for this video, the one thing that is most important, whether you're working with a shower curtain, a bed sheet, a half grid, whatever it is, you wanna make sure your source is large, your source of diffusion is large, especially relative to your subject. If this diffusion frame was 100 feet away, it would still be a very small frame of diffusion relative to me. So make sure your source is large compared to your subject. It's a very large blanket right now, as you can see and that's gonna give you that very soft quality. So that wraps up this video. I really wanna thank you guys for sticking around and being patient with me through this move as well. I know I haven't been on my consistent schedule, but I'm working on a lot of projects that I'm excited to share with you. And I'm trying my best to put out videos just whenever I can on top of all of the moving and all of everything that comes in with moving and working on some new projects. So I love you all. Thank you for being patient with me and I will see you guys in the next video.